Home Studio. Hi, 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 hi. So I'm doing this all wrong. I'm holding the camera with my hand. I'm not adequately lit, but you know what? This is how it's gotta be if I'm gonna do these vlogs. I cannot, I don't have the time to like set up the perfect set with the perfect beautiful background with the twinkly lights and all that shit. I can't do it. So this is what happens when a Gen Xer tries to start a vlog, but it's happening. I'm doing it. It's February 24th, it's the end of the month. I've been filming little snippets of everything I've been doing all month. It's not gonna be great, but I'm gonna try and chop it up and put it together and make it pretty so that you can get some sort of idea of how my month went. If it seems disjointed and chaotic and crazy, then I've done my job because that's what this month has been. Mentally, I have swung between ecstatic and engaged and loving my job all the way to waking up yesterday morning thinking I should go back to being a stay-at-home mom. I really don't wanna do that, but this is the life of an artist, the highs and lows, and I'm not going to hide it from you. So today I'm a little bit better. My mind is in a good place. I'm gonna go skiing later today, so that always helps. And um, I'm gonna crank this vlog out for you. So welcome to February. It was a crazy month. It's almost over. It was abstract acrylic month. I did a little bit of abstract acrylics and I did a lot of various commissions. And that's that. Enjoy. Bye. So it's February 2nd and yesterday was all about getting my space all cleaned up and tidy and ready for work this month. And I also put out a poll on Patreon a couple of days ago asking people what kind of medium they wanted me to work in this month. So my whole thing on Patreon is I try a new medium or technique every month and my patrons get to sort of vote and choose for me. And this month of the four options I gave them, they chose abstract acrylics, which so exciting to me because I've been working for a month in these really, really tight and small gouache, which is very like graphic and precise and illustrative. And now I get to just do the opposite. I get to go big, I get to go abstract, I get to go messy, blendy. I love acrylics. So couldn't be a better pick for me this month. I'm feeling a little crazy. I think I'm going to pull out a few paintings that I had completed, but just don't feel quite right to me now that I've had multiple months to sit on them. So yeah, so I'll be readdressing a few paintings in storage, which means I probably have to take them off the website because I rushed and put things on the website that I now I'm like cringing at. So, so I'll pull a few things off the website, pull a few things out of storage, work on those, and then create a few unique uh, new pieces as well. And then little ones. And I'm gonna just sort of take you guys along for the next couple weeks.
I um, just did a bunch of work on that piece. You guys saw it and I got, I hit like a complete roadblock with it. I don't know, I don't know where to take it. So I'm just gonna put it there and I'm gonna redirect my focus to something else. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with me. I think the problem is I've been working in water-based media for so long now, like the last few months, watercolor and gouache, that I have a really hard time with acrylics. They're drying really fast. They dry on my palette. I waste a lot of paint. You know, obviously once they're down, you can't reactivate them. You can't do anything. There's blending is harder. Anyway, it's weird because for years, acrylics was all I wanted to do and all I ever did, and I thought it was the easiest. And now that I've worked on water media for a couple of months, I'm like, no, it's actually not easier. Uh, you gotta clean your brushes right away. Like, there's a lot of prep and all that. Anyway, not as fun as I remembered, and also just can't find the muse right now. So I'm gonna give it a break. So I'm gonna go and do more of this stuff. All right, check this out. This is what looks like just a messy palette that's very used up, but I'm going to turn it into a collage. With any luck, I'll be able to peel sort of big chunks off of this now that it's dry and use them like this. So here is just a bunch of paint that I actually just peeled off a palette that I used. I actually used for this last painting I was working on. And I have put the pieces together in interesting ways and create this sort of cool landscapey abstract look and I really love this and there's something about this that's just like clicking with me right now um, and that's kind of what I tend to do like if something isn't vibing with me I don't force it but I also don't stop and just wait for the muse to find me if you guys have read Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert you'll know that you um, are not supposed to wait for the muse to find you, you have to go seek the muse. And the only way to do that is to just get to work and put whatever you need to out there to attract her. And sometimes that means just completely failing over and over and over again and creating absolute shit. And then eventually you get to something, you know, she comes and visits and you get to something, you get hooked on something really good. And in my experience, that's absolutely true. It works every time. I just need to work through it. I need to keep going. If uh, what I'm working in right now isn't working for me, then I need to try something else. And so uh, yesterday I switched over from painting to collage and it was fantastic. I mean, I was just playing around while listening to some music and made this and fell in love with it and realized this is what I should be doing right now. So I don't know if I'll be doing this all month for Abstract Acrylic Month, but I'm definitely gonna start doing that for the next week or so and see how it lands. Um, so that's that.
I think I just need to get used to like flipping this guy on whenever I'm in here um, and capturing whatever boring thing I'm doing and then maybe I can chop it up and make it look cool. But I have not acquired those skills yet. I'm still working on it. So yeah, today I'm gonna be packing orders for uh, my February Patreon patrons. Um, so this is the first month that everybody will get their physical goodies and pretty much anybody who signs up on Patreon through the end of this month will get a little package that will include bonus stickers, which I'm very excited about. My husband helped me design these. So they say patron of the arts. Obviously they're glossy vinyl stickers, but I think they're really cute and I'll be including them for all my patrons, all my new patrons, even if you don't sign up for one that ones that give you like physical swag, you'll get a sticker in the mail. And then anybody who orders art from me in the next, well, until supplies went out, um, we'll get a little sticker. I have, I think 50 of them. Uh, the people who get, or who are in my swag squad will get this sticker as well this month. This is, everybody voted and this was the one that they chose. It's one of my inner beauty series in gouache that I did for January because January was gouache month for me and I think it turned out really cool. So those will be in the package and then a couple of lucky people will get also some postcards. Also got another order for her. She's still for sale on my website, has sold really well. So I just gotta trim her up and get her packaged and sign and number and then um, these guys got to trim up and turn into postcards. I got the coolest postcard stamp, which is not within my reach. I have no idea where it is right now. Um, but the cool thing is, is I can print my own postcards. So these guys will get trimmed. And then on the back, I'll stamp the postcard template. And then those will go in my swag pa uh, packages this month. People got to choose which of my Inner Beauty series they wanted. So the choices were Bernie, Kamala, and Amanda Gorman. So yeah, so I'm just gonna get started on packaging those. I'll see if I can capture some video. Doing video while I work is kind of like doing this trick, which I really suck at too. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm, bear with me, I'm working. So somehow I managed to almost get these packed up and forget to film it again. Yep, but anyway, this is what one of the final packages looks like. Slip it into here. My little trick is to put the first name here so I have a hint as to whose package is where. But before I put this one in, I figured I'd let you guys see everything that's going in it. So everybody on my Patreon gets their Patron of the Art sticker. And the Swag Squad and Up get this sticker. Flag Squad and I also get a postcard. And there's my custom postcard stamp on the back, which I love. I think it's so cool. And then my BFFs, which is the top tier, get an original artwork. So this is an original gouache painting that I made. And they also get only flashing it to you because I don't need you to read it. Um, a little love note from me. So all this gets bundled up and slipped into one of these cello bags. I don't want anything getting scratched up in transit. It's a super tight squeeze. And then wrap it up, get the air out of it. And then it gets slipped into the appropriate envelope. Pretty easy for now because I only have a couple of patrons. I'll have to figure out ways to streamline this process when my patron patronage grows. And then uh, some people will just get stickers if they're just new patrons and sometimes I'll throw in a little extra 
So there we go. Um, this month I only have three that I actually have to ship out. And um, I've got a couple more patrons that just get digital stuff. Christmas in here. Look what mom got. Check her out. I have no idea when I'm going to have time to learn how to use her, but this means that I can make my own stickers from now on. I don't have to rely on a sticker website to order 50 stickers to send to three people. <laughs> so, and then I got all these goodies. So I get to learn how to do all these other things. Um, if you don't know what it is, a Cricut is a cutting machine. It does like die cutting and you can cut many types of material um, from cardstock to vinyl to leather, even to really thin wood. Um, and I've got all these really cool things that I can do, transfer tape, I've got stencil tape or stencil vinyl, um, different types of vinyl and cardstock and other like transfer materials. I also got all these really cool tools, um, a nice craft knife, a scoring stylus, a cutting thing, which I've been I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and then the sort of gear that goes with the cutting machine. These are sort of sticky um, mounting tools, which are really cool. And there's like even more goodies back here. So um, I will get to unpack this hopefully early next month and get to know it so that I can make all my goodies for merch for my Patreon patrons. Really exciting and really messy studio. So how'd that go? Hopefully it wasn't too chunky. Um, so that's February for you. Got a couple more days left where I have to make designs for my stickers and my postcards. But other than that, I've uh, managed to squeeze it all in. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Check back next month and uh, hopefully there will be another vlog and it will be better than this one.